after a brief bout of warmth, cooler, fresh air is on the way and plenty more showers to come as well. Here's the reason why a big area of low pressure sitting out in the Atlantic ahead of this cold front. We've seen the, the warmth building, but this cold front is going to do what it's supposed to do and push that warmth away, introducing the cooler air. It's a slower process, so still pretty warm during the course of Friday, especially in the east. But once the cooler air is in play, the low pressure really takes over and spiraling around this, we're going to see bands of showers moving in. Now, the closer you are to the low, the more frequent the showers. Lots of them across Western Scotland, Northern Ireland during Saturday and some heavy ones as well. But further south and east, maybe not too many showers and a good chance here that much of the weekends will be dry. OK, let's bring it back because the cold front is pushing in during Thursday evening ahead of it. Most have had a fine day, but that cold front is going to bring some heavy rain to Northern Ireland. There's a Met Office yellow warning in place and the brighter colours there, the heavier rain will work its way across much of Scotland through the early hours. A few showers possible across England and Wales, but many here will stay dry and we've still got the warm air in place. So temperatures are going to hold up through the night. First thing on Friday morning in the high teens in many urban areas. Areas. So it won't be a cold start. It will be a, a wet start across much of central and northern Scotland. Still some heavy bursts of rain here pushing steadily across the northern Isles, but clearing from the mainlands. And then we'll see a few showers developing as we go through the day. Pretty well scattered, though. So a decent chance that many places will actually stay dry during Friday with some decent spells of sunshine. And when we do see the showers, they will tend to zip through on a fairly brisk wind. But when they do turn up, they could also be on the heavy side. And that brisk wind will bring that fresher feel. So temperatures a few degrees down for most places, but still fairly warm across the central and eastern parts. East Anglia could see 27, maybe 28 degrees Celsius. But generally, I think we'll notice that cooler and fresher feel with that brisk wind. Continuing to spiral in bands of showers as we go through Friday evening, particularly for western parts of Scotland. And look at this. Another spell of rain likely to head in towards Northern Ireland as we head towards Saturday morning. It will be turning cooler, the cooler air in place, the so temperatures at night will be dipping down lower, but still likely in many towns and cities to remain in the teens for the start of Saturday, which will be that mix of sunshine and showers. As I said, the closer you are to the low here, the more frequent the showers. Lots of them for Scotland, Northern Ireland, some heavy ones too. Band of showers likely to cross through England and Wales as well. The showers may form into bands, which is something we need to keep an eye on because some places may see shower after shower. Others may stay dry. And in fact, of course, he's dangling in the southeast. I suspect not many showers here on Saturday. A decent chance that much of the day will be dry and where we don't see the showers, there will be a bit of sunshine coming through. But uh, temperatures back by Saturday, closer to where they have been for much of July and early August in the high teens or low 20s at best. We'll keep that mixture of sunshine and showers going uh, as we go through Sunday as well. Full weekend forecast available on YouTube. And don't forget, make sure you stay up to date with the very latest by following us right across social media.